What is up, dreamers? Figment here, coming to you straight from imagination, and uh, it's it's been a minute. I'm getting over a cold, so if I sound really nasally, you know, deal with it. Drop a like if you feel bad for me having a cold. But we got good stuff today. We're not coming back with some, like, lazy box opening of, like, 40 boxes. I already opened a bunch of stuff off camera, and I couldn't help myself. So you know what? I, 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 I was able to control myself. I was okay. I was able to survive. I got a couple little tins here for us today. Honestly, I wasn't going to open the Giratina one because I was going to exchange this, go back to the store and exchange this for a Mewtwo one. And then I was like, well, you know what? We're doing a box opening, so we're just going to full send and oh, we're going to hope our luck is better. So today we're going to be opening up a Mewtwo power tag team. I don't know what these tins are called, honestly. They're super good. They have Mewtwo Mew promos. I'm going to open this off camera so you don't have to cringe at me opening up plastic. Also, you can hear me chuck it again across the room, basically. So, of course, you got the tin itself. It comes in the normal, nice, beautiful plastic. Look at that. So cool. Okay, I didn't reveal the code. Lit. I'm going to keep the code for this one, one time. I'm going to keep the code because... Oh my gosh, what's that, Figment? You stream? Oh my gosh, whoa, you stream, Figment. No way. Where can I find you? Oh man, I'm so glad you asked. It's on twitch.tv forward slash Figment494. And guess what we do? We, we actually stream Pokemon occasionally. And when I say occasionally, I mean I haven't been, really, not light lately. Because, you know, school is fun. <laughs> But, of course, we got the Mewtwo Mew promo. This promo, honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. And, of course, if you're up to date with any of the competitive tournaments lately, this card is one of the best cards in the format right now. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty... It's going to go into a sleeve, and, uh, yeah. Playable card. It's actually super good. But, of course, the tin looks absolutely fantastic. Costs a little more than your regular tins. $25 on retail, usually. So... All things considered, it's not that bad. And of course, we ha we have our packs that come in with this beautiful box. All right, Pokemon. This is just an open message, Pokemon. Why the? Why? Who thought this pack is okay? This is X Y Evolutions. X Y. X Y. Oh, not even. None of this is Sun and Moon. Well, actually, wait. This is Sun and Moon. I'm stupid. Ignore me. <laughs> I can't right now. <laughs> okay. This pack is like three years old now. Uh, with my luck, I'm about to pull a Charizard out of it. I'm going to throw it over there. Don't ignore it crashing in the background. It's not that bad. Ooh, look, my GX kind of matches my thing. I'm very distracted, as you can tell, but it's perfectly fine because we got Evolutions pack. Uh, this pack is like two or three years old now. I'm kind of tired of getting Evolutions packs randomly throughout boosters because they are complete garbage. There's the code for you guys. I, I don't understand what Pokemon's thinking. They're like, oh, of course our competitive players who are buying tins that actually have competitive shiny cards in them are actually going to want Evolutions cards. So you got a Slowbro, Kakuna, an Energy Retrieval, Metal Energy, a Growlithe, a Ghastly, a Charmander, a Rattata, a Foil Zapdos, and our Rift pack is going to be an Arcanine. So I'm actually thrilled that we didn't get anything out of that pack. Because that means our odds of hitting something out of these three are enormously higher now. And considering Lost Thunder, we're going to go in order here from uh, when the set released. So we're going to jump right into a Lost Thunder pack here. Lost Thunder has a lot of really good cards in the set. There's, of course, Blacephalon. I uh, can't open the pack. I can't open the pack. There we go. There's Aurora. There's the Lost Thunder is easily has like the most playable cards in recent sets. So I'm like really happy that... Uh, that this box actually comes with one of those. Okay, I think it's... Okay, I haven't done a box opening. I keep forgetting which pack trick. Woo! We got a spell tag immediately. Nice. So we got a spell tag. Memory energy. Vespa Queen. Hopip. Picky Peck. Slugma. Poplio. I had to brain fart to remember the name. Litleo. A foil Chinchow. And our rare for the pack is going to be a Steelix. Now, like, even in that pack right there, you still get playable cards out of this set. It's so ridiculous. You don't even need to... I'm going to take a sip of water real quick, because I feel like my throat's going to get dry trying to do this opening. But no, like, Lost Thunder has so many playable cards in the set. Honestly. <laughs> like, it was right there. We didn't even pull a good holo rare or anything, but we still got a playable card that's pretty relevant in competitive format. So, of course, we have Unified Minds packs. These packs are going to be your big big winning packs, I guess, if you will. 
Normally these tins are hitting at least one to two uh, EXs per pull. Of course we got the water energy, the new fancier looking water energies, not the older ones. So we got Noctowl, Tranquil, Electric, Slackoth, Salandit, Bone Sweet, Salandit again. Is that two in one pack? Oh my gosh. Whoa, what the heck, bro? Scraggy, Foil Fletchender, and a Rift Pack Swimmy Camera. It's another regular rare. So, by all uh, by all regular accounts, this should be like a complete baller pack right now. <laughs> I hope it is. Otherwise, this Mewtwo tin was just a, just, just a dud tin for me. And of course, I opened up the good one off camera. I had like three hits from it. I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I had. Um, of course, after I go through these ones. I, did I do that right? I think I did that right. Yeah, Dark Energy. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell I'm like... Haven't done an actual tin opening in a while. Tauros, Tortuga, Tranquil, Hoot Hoot, Carablast, Honedge, Pikachu, Pidov, Foil Cosmog, and the Rift Pack's going to be a Metacham. Alright. So not gonna lie, first tin is pretty bad. It's not not the best pulls. However, uh, I will vouch for these tins and say, like, uh, off to the side, I think... Uh, yeah, I pulled that... I like vaguely remember exactly what I pulled out of each of my boxes. Um, shoot. Yeah, yeah, it was these three. So out of my Mewtwo tin earlier that I pulled, that I opened last night, of course the one I don't open actually on here. I had the Mewtwo, I pulled an Alolan Raichu, a Pidgeot EX, and then of course a Hyper Rare Shuckle. So that shows you how hit and miss these boxes can be, and technically if you're breaking that down to an average, that's still one and a half pulse per box, considering this one hit zero. So, of course, the Mewtwo promo is still a very beautiful, very valuable card. So, it's definitely not bad by any means. And, of course, if you guys get any of those codes that I showed you, showed, please, by all means, comment down below what you guys pull. I want to I know what people are getting from the packs online. Because, like, in that situation there, we pulled nothing IRL. But I, I, I bet somebody went online and just pulled, like, two or three GXs just straight off from that. Okay, why is the plastic giving me difficulty? There we go. Because it doesn't want to be opened, it knows it's bad. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. It's not all terrible. Can I open up the box for once? Here we go. Yeah, they have like the weird case on the back here too, so it's actually like, easier to pull that off and then not damage the card. So like, that makes it a lot easier. And it also ensures that like this, the quality here, of course you got the little bit of a bend, but overall it's still like in the best condition it can be. So, of course, we got a Garchomp and Garatina GX tag team. Card looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it's playable in the sense that you can play it in some Malmar variants, I believe, but that's about it. Otherwise, of course, you got the GX counter. And then, of course, the lovely four packs and the bane of our existence, Evolutions. Can't go away. That sounded probably really loud on camera. That, that too, actually. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go like we did last time. We're going to start from the oldest. We'll make our way up to the newest release set. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, we got the green code, therefore it must be good, right guys? I honestly don't remember if there's the pack trick for this or if there's the energy or not, so. We got a de-evolution spray, a Nidorino, Slubber Spirit Link, a Vulpix, a Fire Energy, a Voltorb, a Charmander, a Diglett, a Foil Polywhirl, and a Rare- Whoa, dude! Oh, snap! I actually haven't seen one of these cards in a while now. We have pulled a Mega Blastoise EX. Uh, of course, not no longer in the standard format, not even close to being in standard format, but a very beautiful card. I have not pulled or seen one of these in a very long time, actually. I say a very long time. It's been like a couple of years since I've actually messed around Blastoise and like Mega cards. I didn't even put the Garchomp in a sleeve. Oh, boy. Who cares about Garchomp, am I right, guys? I'm kidding. If you if you're a Garchomp Garatina fan, uh, please please don't leave. Please please don't unsubscribe. What's that? You weren't subscribed to begin with? Oh, okay, that's fine too, I suppose. But you should subscribe if you actually like the content. You want to see more? Please, I'll, I'll happily take more subscribers. Because the more more we have, the more giveaways and fun stuff I can do, and that that always works well, I think, for you guys. So of course we have the Lost Thunder Pack now. Pretty sure this goes back to the energy, yeah. Ellie, it's so weird going from X and Y to a Sun and Moon pack because the different pack tricks are different. And it throws me off. So we got a Quilava, Giraffe Rig, Carbink, 
a Durant, a Mareep, that's actually playable, a uh, Fanpy, Nkeda, Meryl, Foil Mill Tank, and our Rift Pack is going to be a Toxapex. Again, with these Lost Thunder Packs, they're so ridiculously good, like, playable card, playable card, it's, and actually, depending on how much you want to meme at a tournament, playable. <laughs> playable with asterisks around it. Okay, so we got two Unified Minds packs. We've already pulled a GX, or not GX, an EX, my bad, from this box. So I don't know what else we could really hit. Love to pull Mewtwo here, honestly, to make up for this not being a uh, Mewtwo tin. But, uh, of course, we're going to have to see what we get here. Take that. Put the energy. We've got Metal Energy. Might be bringing us some Metal Pokemon. I don't know. Got a Giant Bomb, a Bug Catcher, a Mesprit. Uh, two cards, actually. Scraggy. Tynamo. A Cubone, a Dredigan, a Shroomish, a Foil Tynamo, and a Bomba Snow. I think we hit doubles again there, too. With There's two different types of Tynamo. There's already 236 cards in the set. You wonder why we have so many cards. It's literally because you have these. What is the purpose of having two of these guys? I'm sorry if you're a Tynamo fanboy, but oh my gosh. We do not need two of those in the same set. We can, we, we can just have one every other set. That's okay, Pokemon. It's not that big of a deal. We don't need to have all the time of love. Alrighty, so. Last pack here. Another Unified Minds. Uh, not not holding out too much hope, unfortunately. Because you already hit something out of the Evolutions pack. That's the reason I don't like the Evolutions in here. Is because you can pull an EX that's just, like... I can't even use this in, in, in Expanded. It's not even, like, viable, realistically. But, eh, we got Mesprit, Sableye, a Lapras, a Fletchender, a Stunfisk, an Onyx, a Finneon, a Hololan Grimer, a Foil Licky Tongue, and a Rift Pack's going to be Necrozma. So, of course, it was two different tins, so we got, I don't even, I set the cards over there, I don't know, oh, they're right here, I'm dumb. <laughs> I set the cards aside thinking I didn't pull anything, so we got a bunch of regular rares out of our Mewtwo tin, and we got a Blastoise EX out of the other tin. Now, of course, I, like I mentioned before, I did a lot of box openings, like, separate, offside, not not on camera. So, like, I, I don't want to go through all these and just flex that I have a bunch of shiny cards. But, of course, Hidden Fates did release. I, uh, I honestly meant to keep, like, a couple of these tins that I opened. I opened, like, 10 or 11. I meant to keep, like, a couple of them set aside to actually bother to open them on camera. And, honestly, I completely uh, forgot, because I pulled, a, like, a, a Golden Lele, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I pulled, like, my favorite Pokemon. I'm just going to keep opening and opening, and it, it just, I don't know. I, I just kept opening packs, and I was like, wait a minute, I don't have any tins left to open on camera. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually go out and buy some more, because, you know, I need an excuse to go get more product, obviously. <laughs> and I'm going to open some more on camera here shortly. Uh, in addition to that, of course... Sponsored by Queen City Gaming. If you guys want to go check out the link down, top link in the description down below. Queen City Gaming, we do have pre-orders available. We have mit, hit the cap, I believe, the amount of like things we can order from the distributor. But uh, that doesn't mean we can't get like a second round in. So if you go to the website and you want to order some Hidden Fates merchandise, we do have Elite Trainer Boxes that are even coming out. All that kind of fun stuff. And of course, this has been the box opening. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm probably going to take a nap and try to not feel sick anymore, and it's going to be fun. Go subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Like the video if you want to see more, because that's the best way of showing support for me, since I'm a tiny creator. And like always, I want to give another shout out to a couple, friend of mine, a, couple, a couple friends of mine, Team Reaper TCG. Their link will be in the description down below. I photobombed their vlog for Worlds, and it was super cool. And you should go check out their videos, because they post a little more frequently than I do, but they do post amazing content, and I always love shouting out a couple of my friends and supporting them. So, of course, go check them out. And, as always, keep on dreaming, guys.